What do you know about x-rays? We all know they are used to take pictures of your bones or to see the contents of your bag at the airport. But have you ever imagined that a very powerful source of x-rays could also help solve industrial problems and could help speed up your innovation process? Well, yes it can, and the ESRF does it. A wide range of techniques is open to industry at the ESRF. Dr. Gemma Martinez Criado, beamline responsible, will give us an insight into X ray fluorescent spectroscopy. X ray fluorescent analysis is a technique to commonly used at the ESRF for chemical composition analysis. The idea is to get the elements, the mayors, and trace elements in a sample. So, most of the cases, they are, we apply the technique to Mm, mummies, to fly edges, to anything in a tiny sample or in a homogeneous uh, distributed sample. Like, for instance, metallic particles in solar cells, in device, like for microelectronics, orthoelectronics, or spintronics. So, very oriented to localization of elements that they are at very low quantities. X-ray fluorescence applications can be divided in five big groups. Art and archaeology, like paintings, mummies, air and environmental science for residual products, decontaminations, etc. Material science, like microelectronics, nanotechnology, biomedical applications, like cells, neuron processes, and finally geology, like hydrothermal processes in ancient times, precipitation, etc. The principle behind the technique is basically the X-ray absorption. So we collect the light as a secondary process of the X-ray absorption and we analyze by energy. Like this, we are able to determine how element, how, which elements are in the sample. The micro X-ray fluorescence setup is basically consists of three elements, the source, the focusing element, and the sample state. Basically, we scan the sample in the beam, and we collect in a pixel-by-pixel pixel basis each spectrum, fluorescent spectrum for each point. From that spectrum, we build elemental maps with the composition of the different elements. Like this, you are able to co-localize the different elements on 2D. If necessary, sometimes we can collect simultaneously the X-ray diffraction data. Like that, we have not only the composition, but the structural analysis at the same time. So in the end, what we get is both composition and structure spatially resolved. X-ray fluorescent analysis compared to electrons or particle-induced uh, techniques have plenty of advantage. One of them is the large penetration depth which is give more than a surface sensitivity. A second one is the detection limits that are, can reach uh, PPB levels. Non-destructive, we don't need to section the, the sample, so it's, uh, you can get it as grown and to bring it here. In general, we have a large dynamic range. When I said that we go from PPB to 100%, we can cover the full range of intensities. And we have the advantage of elemental selectivity. We can tube the energy in the full energy range to detect different elements. Sample size can be studied according to the user need, from centimeter, millimeters, down to nanometer scales. We have two stations, one with a micrometer beam size and a second one with a nanometer size. So, in principle, up to 50 nanometer samples can be accommodated and be studied with the X-ray beam. In general, we can study samples in different environments, different temperatures, pressures. <music> Semiconductor industry needs to couple different devices in a single chip. That's why they want 
for instance, to use for optical fiber communications at higher speeds and lower price to couple a modulator and the laser in the very single chip. To check whether the formation of this chip is OK or not, we have been working on X-ray fluorescent analysis of the wafer. X-ray fluorescent maps allow us to study the spatial variation of the indium, gallium, arsenic elements all over the wafer, while X-ray diffraction patterns collected simultaneously allows us to study the structural order for both devices and the formation of both modulator and laser at the same time. X-ray fluorescent analysis can help you to analyze the chemical composition of your sample with high spatial resolution down to nanometer scales at trace levels, I mean PPV. If you're interested to know more or to find out how the ESRF can help your business, please contact Dr. Edward Mitchell, our Business Development Manager, or visit our website 